Hi, I'm making this video because tomorrow happens to be March the 14th, which is Pi Day. So we'll talk about Pi, what's Pi used for, and how can we use Google Sheets to calculate the area of the circle. So first off, when we look at the symbol for Pi, we use the Greek symbol Pi. And you see all these Greek symbols on here. That's the representation for Pi. When we look at what Pi is, Pi is a number it's represented by 3.14 you know instead of using the Greek symbol we might also refer to pi using the letters pi so there you have it the area of a circle can be calculated using this formula the area is equal to pi r squared r squared in this case is simply r times r so it's pi times r times r and again r is the radius of the circle so let's talk a little bit about the radius. The radius in this case is half the distance across the circle versus the diameter, which is the full distance across the circle, versus the circumference, which is the distance around the circle. Pi happens to be the ratio between the circumference and the diameter. So if you measured the circumference of a circle and divided it by the diameter of a circle, you'd come out with this number. Now you might not get it quite this accuracy but you should get it to within 3.1 or 3.14 so that is an that is a standard um, ratio for any circle so let's talk a little bit about a problem using uh, the formula pi r squared okay so here's the formula again r squared is just simply r times r so what's the area of a circle with a radius of five inches okay using our formula we'll plug in 3.14 for pi we've got 5 and 5 these are these are the this is the radius times the radius which is r squared and if you multiply those together you get 78.5 the units on this are if we measure it in inches okay so r is in inches the units of area are now inches squared because we've squared the radius now, it wouldn't be uh, too difficult to calculate this by hand, but if you have a bunch of problems that your teacher assigned to you, you could use Google Sheets. And that's what we're going to do next. We're going to look at 10 problems where we're going to calculate the area of a circle using our formula, area is equal to pi r squared. So I'm going to switch over to the, the Google Sheet. and. I've already prepared one and I'm going to erase these because I've already calculated those. So how do we how do we use Google Sheets to do that? Well, I've got a three columns here. I've got a problem number, I've got some uh, typical radiuses, and then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the area of the circle using our formula. Now to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the cell and I'm going to type equals and I want to put in pi 3.14 now I've got to multiply that times the radius and I've got to do that twice so I'm going to use the asterisk key which represents times okay now if I just click on this cell which is the radius and then I multiply it again and click on it again now I've got 3.14 times the asterisk here B b2 times b2 okay b2 happens to be cell b2 okay if I hit the enter key now I've got my 78.5 which I calculated in my previous example now you say gosh you know do I have to type that formula in for every one of these cells well no you don't see this little dot right here if I just hover over that until I get a plus sign hold my left mouse key down and drag down okay I didn't do it quite far enough okay what it does is it calculates every one of these radiuses it calculates the area for every one of these radii if I want to change see how many I've got three decimals I really don't need three decimals I'm going to use these here we've got a decrease decimal places and increase decimal but I'm going to decrease that so every time I click it 
it reduces the number of decimals. Well, I'll reduce it down to one. I want one decimal. Or I could even go to no decimals and it'll do the rounding for me. Okay. So I think with that we'll we'll stop. Again, I just want to repeat the formula is equal sign 3.14 and then an asterisk which is times and then the radius in this case is in cell B2 times B2 which is representative of our formula pi times r times r. So hope you understood this. Thanks for listening.